Well, hello there, and good evening, everyone. I'm uh, William Brantley from the University Village Apartments on Walker Road in the North Jackson, Tennessee area, uh, ready to share with you yesterday's and today's climate summary and give you a forecast for the next few days uh, momentarily. Here's the very latest information on Tropical Depression Nate, which is... Uh, Right well, about near uh, Chattanooga, Tennessee, about right now. Uh, via some of the information off of the Weather Channel, of course. Uh, there it is. <laughs> uh, it's raining pretty good over in East Tennessee. There's the latest information. Tropical Depression, Nate, 35 mile an hour winds, 75 miles south of uh, Nashville. Well, it's in Middle Tennessee. How about that? It's okay, so it will uh, be uh, that's where it's at, Nashville, Tennessee. So there's Middle Tennessee right now. All uh, right, east of us, but just far enough east of us to we're not getting any uh, rain from it. That's the very latest track. It's going to be up in uh, New York State by tomorrow afternoon. Well, that's doing some fast moving, isn't it, my friends? But uh, East Tennessee is getting the brunt of it. And Northern Alabama and and further east of that uh, as the uh, evening progresses. All right, thought I'd give you a little idea of that real quick like. Speaking of that, let me show you another radar, which I wasn't planning on doing quite so soon, but... Since I saw that, I'll go ahead and show you this one. This one's courtesy of AccuWeather. And as you can see, yes indeed, it's raining pretty good to the east of West Tennessee. We're in the clear here in Jackson and most of West Tennessee. And based upon that movement, uh, the rain is gone for the, for the day. It, it quit around 12 o'clock, I think, or a little bit before then, actually. Right around 9 o'clock this morning, it rained from about 6 a.m. to 9 a.m. I ended up at 45 hundredths of an inch here. But as you can see, uh, it's raining pretty good over in East Tennessee right now. Portions of northern Georgia, South Carolina, a little bit of western North Carolina, and on up into a good chunk of uh, eastern uh, Kentucky, uh, of course, Ohio and West Virginia and those places. And I believe about what, it's going to be up in New York State by tomorrow. Is that what that was? I think I just said a while ago. It, this joker's moving. But well, we have another chance for rain uh, again by uh, early Tuesday morning from a cold front. Uh, but that's uh, what's left of uh, Nate. Uh, I just thought I'd emphasize that for a few moments. All right, let me come back to me briefly. And uh, they may be showing some local on the eights, which I think they're doing that. Uh, I may try to get that in there real quick momentarily. Uh, I think it's coming up right now. Yep. Let me show you a quick look on the eights. 80 degrees out there right now. It's partly cloudy. There you see the other stats. And that's the other radar. There's the rain over in East Tennessee. Uh, a little dab of rough around Nashville, but not a lot. This is sort of a quick forecast. Fair skies the rest of the day, by the way. Uh, all the way to midnight and on into tomorrow. And uh, high about 90 degrees tomorrow. My goodness, it's warmed up a little bit, had not it? <laughs> Uh, tomorrow night, uh, maybe some thunderstorms late. It'll be after midnight, probably. And that's the extended forecast, uh, for the rest of the week. Well, it's not going to be too bad once you get past Tuesday, looks like. Alrighty. Uh, I doubt they're going to show a, uh, a local radar other than the one you just saw. Okay, the wind gusts have died down south of us. 
Let's see if I can see that track one more time. That might be the last time I'll be showing that one. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, it's going to be on up there in uh, New York State by tomorrow afternoon. Yep. My goodness, that's moving fast. Well, all righty. Anyways, let me move on a little closer to home. And before I get too far ahead of myself, let me give you the climate data. But i got to make it kind of quick because i got to go to church here in a few minutes. Uh, yesterday's uh, low temperature was 66 degrees. Yesterday's high here in North Jackson was 87 degrees. Had four hundredths of an inch of rainfall yesterday. Uh, the highest wind gust was uh, south at 26 miles per hour at 12:59 uh, p.m. West Tennessee's hottest high yesterday was 88 degrees at the Memphis, Tennessee airport. Uh, the coolest low for West Tennessee yesterday was 64. And that was at Bolivar, Huntington, Paris, and Union City, Tennessee. And as of 4 p.m. today, the skies were clear here in North Jackson. The temperature was 81 degrees. The dew point was 71 degrees. The humidity was 74%. The wind was out of the north at 9 miles per hour. And the pressure was 29.62 inches of mercury. Today's low temperature was 72 degrees, and by the way, that 72 degrees is a new record warmest low for October the 8th. The old record was 68 back in 1982, so we had the hottest morning on record this morning for October the 8th. And today's high temperature was 83 degrees. Here in North Jackson, I believe it was 85 at the Jackson Airport, but 83 here in North Jackson. And uh, rainfall, since midnight, I've had 1.40, no, no, not that much. <laughs> I had uh, 45 hundredths of an inch of rain here in North Jackson. And that fell roughly between about 5 a.m. to about 9 a.m. Uh, again, 45 hundredths. Lowest humidity would be 74% at 4 p.m. Uh, the highest would be 100% at uh, 6 through 8 a.m. Today's lowest barometric pressure would be 29.62 inches of mercury, and that was at uh, 4 p.m., while the highest was 29.82 inches, and that was at 12 a.m., and today's highest wind gust has been 23 miles uh, per hour at uh, 2.16 uh, p.m. Hold on. Well, don't have nothing. I'm just going to be dry. Uh, today's records for October the 8th would be 89 degrees would be the hottest high in 1963 and 2007 and 2010. Uh, the coolest high would be 54 in the year 2000, and the warmest low would be, well, 72 degrees uh, in the year 2017, this year. And again, the old record was 68 in 1982, and the coldest low would be 29 degrees this morning, back in the year 2000, uh, for October the 8th uh, uh, records. Today's rainfall record, dang, we didn't come far from breaking it. <laughs> 89 hundredths of an inch. I had 45 hundredths of an inch. But uh, 89 hundredths of an inch is the record, and that was set back in 1960. All right, let me show you a few more graphs, and then I better get ready, I guess, to uh, go on to church. Uh, you saw the Doppler weight on one. Let me show you the satellite view real quick of the southeast uh, really doesn't look all that bad but you can see uh, uh, tropical storm Nate that's pretty wide storm overall though it goes all the way from Ohio or and southward all the way down to the northern edges of, uh, of Florida though and they're over there in North Carolina even though on along the coast is starting to get dark over there a little bit. And here we are on the western fringes of it, literally. 
Uh, it looks like this cloudy, uh, uh, not too far to the east of us, probably around Lexington or so, and points east is probably cloudy, especially along the Tennessee River, on into middle and east Tennessee where all that rain's falling. But we're lucky here in West Tennessee and in the Jackson area and points west of getting sunshine, and it probably will remain generally fair for the remainder of the afternoon and evening. The rain's over for us at least for a day or so. Alrighty, let me move on to, uh, I'm going to go to the uh, current surface map, courtesy of uh, the National Weather Service this time. The other one isn't showing these graphs, and I don't know why. They have one, but they're not showing no highs and lows on it. I don't know why. And this is the only one that is that I trust right now. National Weather Service, and it was as of, uh, what is that time? Uh, 501, uh, Jackson, Tennessee time. And it shows, if I can get, my, get it steady, I'll be backing up. That might help. It shows Tropical Depression Nate there. Uh, that's that low pressure system in Tennessee there. If I get that just a hair point wrong direction. That's about as good as I'm going to get it probably. Stationary front right through West Tennessee actually. And it stretches on up into uh, Maine. And as you see the large area we're flooding as possible. But it's east of us, over in East Tennessee, all the way up through Ohio, down to the southeast corner of uh, Alabama, and down in that area. All right, there's a that's another cold front to the north of it that's going to work its way here Tuesday morning. Right now, it's creating snow over in parts of Utah, Colorado, and Wyoming. Believe it or not. They are having snow over there, courtesy of those two low pressures uh, right there. And there you see the other systems in the country. And that pretty much covers that. Alright, uh, I guess the forecast, the detailed forecast is next. I'll go ahead and go on into it and then I'm going to have to cut it off and get on the church, I guess. It looks like it's going to be fair skies tonight with a uh, on into tomorrow. Actually, it's going to be fair most of tomorrow until about 8 p.m. tomorrow night. Then it's going to become mostly cloudy. Then we have a 30% chance of some showers and thunderstorms tomorrow night from 8 o'clock on. With a low near 65 and a high of 90 tomorrow with south winds of 5 to 10 miles per hour. Tonight's going to be fair. Um, the sun sets at 6.29 tonight. Rises tomorrow morning at 6.57. And the moon rises at 8.56 8, uh, p.m. And sets tomorrow morning at 9.54 a.m. And I've already gave you the technical part of tomorrow's forecast. Uh, on Thursday, we got another chance for rain from that cold front that I was talking about a moment ago in the Plain States. It's going to be mostly cloudy with a 60% chance of some showers and thunderstorms till noon, then becoming fair with low near 69 and a high of 86 with south winds of 10 to 20. And by Wednesday, it's going to be fair all day and night <laughs> with a low near 60 and a high of 77 with west winds of 5 to 15 miles per hour. Well, since I'm cutting short on time tonight, I'm going to go ahead and cut the video a little short, too. That's it for tonight. Uh, we got lucky. Didn't have any thunderstorms, but I did, I think, try to give uh, in indications of that on an updated uh, Facebook Live video last night around 11 o'clock, and I hope most of you caught that. Well, all right, that's it for right now. Have a very pleasant Sunday night, and I hope you all have sweet dreams later on. I hope you wake up to a beautiful Monday, uh, October the 9th, 2017. And of course, I hope I get a chance to talk to you again tomorrow night. And until then, sweet dreams, everybody, and God bless. And good evening.